I'm gonna check swing. I'm gonna do some dollar bin diving. It's geeking time. I am on the road. I'm heading to my comic book shop, Check Swing. I got some kicking tunes. One of my favorite songs of all time, Master of Puppets playing. Got my coffee. Um, I'm gonna pick up my comics, but I'm also gonna be checking the dollar bin. So today's video is basically checking out the dollar bin comics and seeing what I can find in the dollar bin. So, that being said, once we get there, we'll peruse through the, uh, the bin of dollar comic books, see what we can find. I'll see you guys at Check Swing. All right, so I'm here to the shop. Let's get in there. Let's see what uh, what books we can find in the dollar bin, and then I'll be picking up my haul as well too. So let's get diving into that dollar bin. So like I showed off last time, here is all the uh, all the rows of comics. You guys saw that in my free comic book day video. And um, here we go. We're making our way over and uh, getting to the dollar bin. These are all the dollar comics. I'm Give me, bear with me guys, hang on. Right, there we go. So, here's the dollar bin. Let's see what we can uh, find in here. A lot of interesting old books in this dollar bin. We're in the A section, this is the B section. And if I see something that I am interested in, I'm probably gonna grab. I'm not quite sure so far. I got an image comics here. This is C23 by Jim Lee, let's grab that. Let's grab this, all these Jim Lee comics, that's cool. Whoop, things are falling here. Captain Adam. Okay, let me put these to the side. Sorry guys. Clandest, I'm not sure what that is. Cerebus. Paper Catalyst. Okay, cool. Alright. Let's make our way to the D's. Okay, now we're in the D's. Uh, no longer the D's. Okay. Oh, there's not too much that I'm seeing so far. Ooh, hardcore. Okay. Just a bunch of comics in here, guys. Iron Wings, not sure what that is. Okay. So, oh, like I said, these are all the dollar bin books. Put that to the side. Check what we got over here. Show you some more stuff in the dollar bins here. All these are the dollar bins. I'm gonna go through all this stuff and see what they have. So I figured, I thought I was gonna go through every single one, but it's gonna take way too long, but these are all the dollar bin books. And uh, yeah, okay, so I gotta put this stuff down because I got, got some cheap stuff in here too. So, so let's go through all this and see what they got. My comics heading out. Got my, my, my boy Don here and uh, Pierre over there. Thank you guys. And uh, let's show you guys what I got in the, the bag. Later guys. Have a good day. All right. I'm on my way home now. Now it's starting to get a little cloudy out there. It's gonna rain. I had to stop and get some coffee. Even Vanessa, she got herself this like chocolate frostachino thing. I don't know, it looks pretty good. So I got my comics. These, one of the bags is my pull. The other big bag is the dollar bin books. Um, I am gonna show off two of the comics my pull because the rest of the comics I'm gonna do in another video. So when we get back home, I'm going to show you all the dollar books and two of the books in my pull. Before I get home, before I show you this, I'm going to give a shout out to my to the group I'm in. Um, the Comic Book Corner 2.0 Webheads Unite. Great, great group. I've mentioned them before. It's a comic book group. If you guys are really into comic books, you guys want a really great community of comic books, go check the group out. Say hi. It's run by Mike Spider Slayer, who's got his own channel as well, Comic Book Corner 2.0. Great people in there. I love interacting with everyone. So let's go home. I'll show you guys everything I found in the dollar bin. And I gotta admit, there's some pretty cool stuff in there. Vanessa came along for the ride with me today. So, all right guys, can't wait to show this. I'll get home and I'll show you everything in the brown bag. So I'm back home. I showed you guys how it's getting cloudy out there. Well, I got a little cold, so I put my hoodie on because a little cool in here. Guys, I really apologize about this, where I'm sitting right now. I just moved into a new place. And uh, yeah, I have not had time to set up my whole entire set yet. But I digress, it's okay, we're home. I got the comics, they're all in this brown bag. Like I said, I have two for my pull because the others I'm gonna show off in another video. 
but I also have all the dollar bin comics in here. So let's get right into it. All right, so right there is the stack of comics. It's a pretty thick, hefty stack. I think I found 10 in the dollar bin, so plus an extra that wasn't in the dollar bin, but I still got to show it off to you guys. Let's grab slowly. Let's take this stuff out of the bag. Let's put that brown bag down somewhere. Here we go. I'll put my stack of comics down here, and so we can grab one, each one. So first things first, this one's from my wife. Um, I heard about the story. I heard it's really bad. Honestly, it was for the cover, and my wife is a huge fan of this character, so I picked up Storm number one. Like I said, that was for my wife. But it is a very beautiful cover if you take a look at that. So yeah, it is really nice. I'm not going to lie to you. That's from the pull, and then, well, this is from my ongoing pull. Apart from my Ninja Turtles comics, but like I said, that's going to be in another video. Uh, I've got Spawn issue 341. It's a really cool cover. I like that a lot. So you got Violator. You got Al Simmons in there. Raven Spawn. Really cool looking cover. So that's that's what was in the poll. Now that being said, <laughs> what you guys really want to see are the comics I scored for a buck. <laughs> All right, there's some good ones. There's some gems in here. So, like I said, this is the stack of dollar books, and uh, I think I did pretty well with these dollar comics. So let's take a look and see what we got here. First things first, we have is New Men, number one. No, not New Men from Seinfeld, but New Men, number two. I said number one, I meant number two. It's not bagging and board, but like on the back, there's an ad for the Young Blood. So it's pretty cool. This book was only a dollar, like I said. And we got Vanguard number one. This seems to be a wraparound cover. That's pretty cool. And then we got Vanguard number two. Some old image comics. I, I'm a sucker for the old image comics books. So yeah, pretty cool. Vanguard number one, Vanguard number two. If you guys know about these comics, if, if you know if they're worth anything, let me know. Next up we have, um, Magic the Gathering, the, the Shadow Mage, number three. There you go. I just I like Magic the Gathering. I like that. I like Dungeons and Dragons. So I thought this was pretty cool for a dollar. And in the back, it's, it gives you some uh, pieces to play Magic the Gathering with. So that's really neat. I thought that was a really cool pickup for uh, for a buck. And I love that there's an ad to at the back there for the video game Warlock for SNES. Oh man, that's cool. The next few is a little bit, a little bit of a run. And mind you, I grabbed these because, first of all, the comic book company that made them is no longer around. I thought the covers look cool, and the character on the cover reminded me of Esmeralda from Hunchback of Notre Dame, which is one of my all-time favorite Disney cartoons. So we got Suspira number one. That was a buck. Pretty cool. Really neat. Then we got Suspira number two. I'm not exactly sure what this is all about, but... Even Vanessa was like, these covers are, what the hell with these covers? <laughs> and we got Suspira number four. So, I think it's I think it's only four issues. It's not too bad. I got uh, one, two, three, and four. If I could find number three, then, uh, yeah, I'm going to add that to my collection. If I can find number three, that's for sure. If you are some DC fans, then these next ones you might actually really like. So, first things first, from the New 52... The Light of Vengeance Strikes. This is the Ray number one of four. New 52 cover. I thought that was pretty cool. One buck. I mean, I thought that was a pretty neat find. And to go along with that, this is from 1994. Um, don't know if this is the first volume or if it's the second volume. But again, we have the Ray number one. Yeah, I just thought, I, I love 90s covers. For me, like whenever I see a 90s cover, I'm like a sucker for it. I got to pick it up. So I just thought that was really cool. So these two DC books here that I found in the dollar bin, never really heard too much of the ranks except for that Freedom Fighters animated thing that they did. But looking forward to taking a look at these. You know what? I said earlier when I showed off the uh, the Vanguard and the New Men comics that I'm a sucker for Image Comics. So um, yeah, that's why I saved this one for later on the pile. I have his first appearance in Savage Dragon number one. I also have an action figure of this character by McFarlane Toys. So I just thought to myself, it would be really fitting to grab his uh, number one. I didn't even know that he had an ongoing series until I saw it. This issue number one in the dollar bin and I was like, oh. 
I need to grab this and for one buck I was really happy to add this to my collection. This is Super Patriot number one. And as I mentioned to you guys, I love the 90s comics. And like I said, I'm a sucker for image comics. So this is a lot of fun. This is really cool to have in the collection. Um, not sure if I'm gonna frame this one or not. I don't think so, but maybe, maybe, maybe when I display the Super Patriot figure, I might display this comic next to it. So that'd be really cool. One dollar, you can't go wrong. The last one, however, is really like, I would say the gem of this bunch. This one was not a buck, but when I, when I found it in the bin, I was like, I need to grab this for my collection because it's rare that I see these ones here. Um, they, my shop had two other issues from a different series, which I think I'm going to go back and pick up next time. Uh, but right here we've got, this is issue number two of five. This is Sin City, the big fat kill number two of five. So really excited about this. I love the Sin City comics. A good kill takes a long time. I love the movie Sin City. It's one of my favorite anthology films, one of my favorite comic book movies ever made. So this was just a really great find. And uh, yeah, I love Sin City so much. So I, ha I could not pass up this comic. Like I said, there's two others over there. I'm not exactly sure which numbers they are, but they're from A Dame to Kill For. I'm definitely gonna go back and grab those ones because like I said, I love Sin City. So if I can find Sin City issues and put them in my, my collection, I'm definitely gonna do that. All right, but lo and behold, this is the big stack. I said the two books from my pull into the dollar books. So I think I did pretty dang good this time around with comics. Um, I know it's not, it's not a normal comic book haul video that I always do, but I want to do something a little different. I'm always doing comic book hauls. I'm always, you know, showing off um, sometimes some of the grail, some of the old comics. I figured it'd be fun to do a dollar bin diving uh, video for once. And like I said, I think I did pretty dang good with the gems that I found. But I asked you guys, what, what, uh, what was your favorite in this uh, stack? Are you guys dollar bin diving? I'm making a lot of noise as I'm putting these books back into my brown bag. Do you guys do you guys hit up the dollar bin, uh, the dollar bins when you go to your comic shop? Have you guys found any gem, gems when going in there? Like I said, these are really cool, and there's a lot more. There was that C23, those C23 issues by Jim Lee uh, in the bins that I did not end up picking up. Maybe next time I'll pick them up, but. Let me know, would you guys want to see me do more dollar bin diving episodes? Could be fun. Um, I really am happy, like I said, with the stuff that I got. Speaking of being happy, you know what make me really happy? If you can go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Also, if you could click that bell, anytime you click, well, whenever you click that bell, you will be notified when I've got some brand new content up. So it's a good way to know, hey, Boomer's got a new video up, let's go and let's watch that, that shit. That would make me very happy. But then again, you know what? I appreciate every single one of you guys that are already subbed to my channel, that are already watching my videos, already taking the time to tell me how much you guys appreciate my stuff. I appreciate each and every single one of you guys. I'm going to get out of here for the day. I got other stuff to do. I got to go to work. So, you know, work's always fun. But I will definitely be back. Uh, this is only temporary. I'm definitely going to get my stuff set up. I'd like to have my backdrops up <laughs> very soon. I don't know how long it's going to take, but... Some of these videos you might see in the future might be in some random spaces. All right, that's it for me, guys. Go out there, keep collecting, happy collecting, happy hunting. And as always, it's cool if it's nerd cool. Later, guys.